Share the road. That's how the saying goes. People walk, bike, and drive. And sometimes the dog being walked has to make a stop in the crosswalk. Anything can happen at intersections and along the streets of the city. Then I've been walking here for about six years now. So there's been a de definitely a big change with the traffic and the scooters and stuff. Being able to walk around and get around safely is one of the city's main selling points. Oh, I love it. It's the best, maybe like afternoon and the weekend kind of walk. The city has all kinds of monitors and traffic readers and cameras that can be used to study intersections. Sometimes staff members with the Department of Transportation do manual counts and data tracking. You can spot some of the equipment on utility poles and street lights. Now there's a new eye in the sky. In this particular case, it's about having more accurate information of individuals that are walking or riding the bike. So definitely it's better for planning. DOT Commissioner Adonis Rodriguez says it will help the city create the streets of the future. A company called Viva is working on the pilot program with the DOT. These new sensors have been installed at 12 intersections around the city. Well, this is about using technology also to do better planning. With that information, our, our planning team at DOT, they will be able again to integrate it and continue on, uh, learning on the behavior of cyclists and pedestrians. There's one at Berry Street and North 6th in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It'll help provide more specific safety information. The sensors gather anonymous data in real time for real mapping of the real routes different people take on different modes of transportation. So what is clear is that more New Yorkers and visitors are continuing using the bike. So with the sensors, we will be able to use accurate time as pedestrians walk in the sidewalk and cyclists use the bike.